How's it going, everybody? Gabriel Santiago here. This is the Speaking of Harmony podcast, and this is episode 55. All right, today we're going to talk about uh, something that people ask me a lot about, about some of the harmonies that, I, that I'm doing, some, some other side of the harmonies I like to use when they keep asking me about uh, chord symbols and what chords I'm using, chords and chords and chords. And, and I'm not really thinking about chords in that sense. I'm mostly implying the harmony. That's what we're going to talk about today. All right, before we go into that, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, activate the little bell thing notifications. This is all my social media stuff. Don't forget to sign the mailing list. There's a free guitar lesson available when you sign that uh, with PDFs and all this stuff. So links in the description. Another plug I've been doing is that I am on Twitch all the time now, live streaming on Twitch. So if you want to follow me there and hang out, links in the description. Also from my Twitch channel, if you want to sub and follow and follow and sub, they'll be even better. So I'm putting a lot of content out there. Also, if you want to keep that party going and be really interactive with me, join my Discord chat. Also, the description over here, if you don't know where it is. It's, it's something that's being really used right now, especially for gamers, but now everybody's using Discord chat where we can keep keep that conversation going. You know, even when I'm like streaming on Twitch, we kind of take the party over to Discord chat and we just kind of continue doing that and talking about music and sharing videos and all this stuff. Also for my um, uh, Brazilian friends, amigos brasileiros, tem um canal lá dentro do Discord em português, a gente pode falar e falar tudo em português, sem problema, tá bom? All right, given that, that plug on Portuguese as well, uh, let's uh, go on with the video. So what I'm talking about is this thing I was playing in the beginning, right? Is there harmony there? Of course there is harmony there, but I wasn't really thinking about chords. I was thinking of uh, separate elements that imply harmony. So I guess the subject of today is implied harmony that you can imply via, you know, different things. You don't need to specifically be uh, playing a, a chord change, like a structure of, okay, hey, this is a chord, this is a chord, this is a chord, right? Some chords, you just don't put the symbol on it because they're just a result of a, a melodic movement. Again, hashtag voice leading back in the game, right? Um, on this case, I was using two notes, right? E and B, right? I was using these three, no, two notes here, right? And then I can assign a bass into that note Right? On this case, I was using uh, something like that, like it started with E. So I can keep moving that bass. sequence right here, a progression, that I'm not really worried about which chords I am playing. I'm not really thinking of chords over here. I'm thinking about melodic movement, a, a static uh, 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 rhythmic thing with two notes, right, against a moving bass, right, which by the way is an oblique movement, right, if we go back I'm going to put here in the card an episode when I talk about oblique movements, some kind of movements between voices. Um, this is an oblique movement when you have one static voice, which is in this case, it's not changing pitch, it's staying what it was, against a moving line, in this case the bass note, which is the lower voice, moving up and down against a static, in terms of direction, right, layer. In this case, E and B that I was using, right? song right now about this right I 
can go here for hours just playing this stuff and i'm not thinking of chords again of course i'm implying a c major major seven some point here there's like a e over g sharp kind of sound over here there's like a, a f major f major uh seven sharp 11 sound over here of course there is a um you know a a major over c sharp kind of sound the c major seven right of course these chords are implied but i'm not thinking of them right if i would just like kind of write chords i probably wouldn't write this course because if i put the structure of the chords you'll be kind of tempted to use the shapes you already know so i'm gonna play you know use all the stuff which you know it kind of makes sense if you play together but it kind of goes away from the idea initial idea which is have that static voice against a moving voice that's what i'm thinking about right i'm thinking about this That's what I'm really thinking about, right? So those are things to think about when you you kind of want to not give it up all the harmony and you kind of want to leave things implied instead of like explicitly, okay, this is a chord, this is this chord, this chord, a more like horizontal when you want to do a more horizontal, horizontal approach instead of a vertical thing, you're working on the lines, right? You work on that. Um, another thing I can go and I can use... Um, a static voice as we're showing right but it can also do a uh, ostinato like like a melodic figure that can just be playing on top and then I can move the bass as well but now I can say something that is moving but it's being repeated from time to time, just the same repetition but it's in movement as well instead of a static voice the voice is actually moving against another one but it's being just repeated and vamped if you will like an ostinato thing so i can go something like uh let's take this this idea right this is this is amiola as they call right amiola kind of cross bar ideas right so i can just take this figure for instance rhythmic melodic figure putting two chords in here implied but I'm not I'm not playing G major 7 and then C major 7 I'm like achieving this harmony just by implying the chords through two melodies right the bass they're just jumping as, as a steady note long note against the actually figure that has been just repeated just vamped right Ostinato. achieving harmony right there and I was not thinking of harmony at all I was thinking of this figure that's just being repeated as an ostinato and I'm playing and, and I'm putting context via bass notes they're moving you know ascending or descending however right I'm just moving against this you can achieve harmony by that Right? That's the main point of today's episode, is how you can find harmony uh, anywhere. Right? Because again, that's something I insist all the time. It's like, we're already like on episode 55, and since episode 1 of the podcast, I have been telling you, harmony is horizontal. Harmony is just lines. Right? Guitarists, like we guitarists, we tend to think very vertically about harmony, about chord structure, especially the guitar is a 
paradise for shapes, right, that we learn. And I keep reinforcing that it's great for th some things, but it's also if you want to kind of step out of the guitar, the idiom of the guitar, and start feeling harmonies are more all-encompassing thing, it's just at the end of the day, just lines, just lines, right? And that's what I'm working here with. At first I was doing a static line that keeps steady and an oblique movement having a contrary voice just kind of moving around against a static voice, so. And then I was even showing you uh, when you can do, as you can do like with figures, with ostinato. That's what I was doing, that I came up with. Right? I can put more voice, put, put a, a middle layer in there, like another voice. For instance, I can go... three voices and see the harmonies in there man the harmonies in there i'm like definitely implying a g major ish and then a c major ish but i'm not just like playing that structure of these chords together all the time i'm achieving that by just kind of spreading them around into voices and see how they complement each other it's a very kind of orchestral thinking because i come from a composing side because i'm always seeing things as a composition side so more like stepping out of the guitar a little bit is important to do that just start thinking things in lines and horizontal. That will help you measure when you play guitar. If you just kind of stick with that kind of default thinking of horizontal stuff, right? It's, it's great. I use all the time shapes and all that in parallel movement and all that. It's great. But if you want to really expand your guitar playing, you should consider think, thinking harmonically, uh, uh, horizontally all the time. So harmony like implied harmony, that's the subject of today, right? So experiment with that, and you just take some kind of, you know, note and just keep moving the bass against you, see how interesting sounds you can achieve by doing that, or ostinato, some kind of figure when you just move lines around, you're gonna see that you're gonna find some um, really interesting uh, results, even though like not really uh, function harmony, you're gonna achieve different progressions that kind of came from nowhere, it's like, oh, nice that you wouldn't otherwise achieve by just kind of seeing things vertically. So experiment with that, right? If you want to dig into that, uh, sign up for my mailing list. I'm putting a lot of content out there. There's a free guitar lesson when you sign in in the list. Don't forget that on Brazilian guitar and all these kind of things. Don't forget to uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel, right? Subscribe to the channel, activate the little bell thing. This is all my social media stuff. Again, I'm on Twitch all the time now, streaming live usually in the evening, so just sign up the list and then follow me on Instagram as well. I'm always kind of posting on stories and let people know when I'm live. And also join the Discord chat, which is also a nice way now to interact with me all the time. I'm there like talking with people. So join the chat, the link is in the description as well. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.